Hi, everyone, and welcome to JSA TV. Coming to you today live from day three, the final day of ITW. It's been a great week so far. Uh, I'm Barb Mitchell, and we're here on the floor of National Harbor. And joining me is Greg Elliott and Matt Reed, 1623 Farnham's uh, VPs of Business Development. And I'm so happy to have you here. Glad to be here. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Awesome. We saw you, you know, we've seen you throughout the week. I know you've been busy talking with folks and uh, we're here bright and early. So thank you. Thank you, you for bet. coming. I know it gets a bit exhausting by this time of the week, but uh, really happy to have you here and happy to have you, Matt. Welcome yes, to you. your new, to your role at 1623. Tell us about that. Yeah. So um, new, to, new to the 1623, been, a, been, been in the facility many, many times and that's what drew me to the to the facility i'm working with greg over the years and really what what brought me on board was the team um, and if you haven't had a chance to visit our facility you'll see that uh, all the work that those guys have done over the years it's amazing um, but the the team um, that they've uh, built there is is i'm glad to be part of it and um, yeah so it's it's been a good good two months so and, still learning and we're glad to have you well, yeah welcome you, aboard yeah. and, and thank he you. and matt brings just a great uh network engineering uh background to us that we haven't really had in the past so that's that's huge and and he's been been a customer for years and and have known him for years so it's good to have him on the team yeah appreciate it yeah and you mentioned people and team and that's what drew you uh in but i also know that 1623 i mean you have great a great facility and, and a great array of assets. Talk about that and, and what that means for your customers. Yeah, we spend a lot of time uh, building the ecosystem and we'll probably talk about that a little bit today. And <clears throat> to us, that means, uh, you know, we're truly carrier neutral, we're tr truly uh, content provider neutral and, and we're always adding to that mix. And so we have about 60 networks in the Mimi room uh, we continue to grow the uh, Omaha Internet Internet Exchange, which we own and operate, and you know all those things are. are the, the the bigger we build that ecosystem, the better it is for customers and exist or potential customers to leverage that ecosystem. Yeah, and I I mean there's a lot, I mean there's a lot of things I think we want to touch on today, but one of the things that that comes up I mean a lot in mainstream news anyway these days is the economy and some different pressures around there. I think organizations, enterprises are thinking a lot about that. How do you advise your clients uh, from that regard? Yeah, so um, I'll take that. If you don't yeah, mind. Go ahead. Okay. <laughs> so uh, we act as a, as I mentioned, we're truly care neutral, content provider neutral, cloud neutral, and that puts us in a unique position to help enterprise customers as they're working on their digital transformation strategy. Um, and we act as a, a consultant. We're trying, that's why we're here to learn as much as we can about the different networks and new technologies and, and new connections that can happen. Um, and so we take that back to our, our enterprise customers and our, our content customers to, um, you know, help them maximize their IT spend uh, from hybrid cloud solutions to peering on the exchange uh, saves money. When you have 60 networks in the meet your room, gives you a lot of uh, choices and, and uh, ways to uh, maximize your budget for sure. Yeah, just I mean, you said it all, but I would agree. Just being that business partner, learning about their business, um, and seeing how we can align those things with all the things that go on in the facility and and the ecosystem, like Greg Greg touched on. Yeah, yeah. So locations, one thing as well, right? Omaha, Nebraska, that and and other things. What would you What would you say? Are, you know, are the additional benefits of from a geographical perspective, uh, but also some of your other benefits? Yeah, it's uh, definitely location, location, location. And so we're fortunate that um, we sit, you know, almost in the middle of the U.S. We have lots of great fiber routes, long haul fiber routes, north, south, east, west and everything in between. And um, so that's that's huge. And then we're also fortunate in Nebraska, Iowa, the region uh, power costs are are low, um, so that's attracted the hyperscalers, um, and that just you know keeps building that ecosystem that we keep talking about. Yeah. Uh, and so, as we sit here again, it's you know day three. I can't believe we're already. I mean, we ha I guess we have almost a full day still ahead of us. Yeah. I know, but it's going quick. Yeah, and I you've been having no doubt a lot of 
great meetings. I know that, you know, we've chatted about that a little bit, just, you know, the, the pace of how things happen here. But I'm kind of curious, what are you talking to people about? Yeah, um, so, you know, the, the cool things in the ecosystem, you know, like we touched on, the, the Omaha IX has been growing like crazy. Um, we've been adding adding new networks. There's there's some new new carriers out there that, mm-hmm. that are exciting, um, low latency networks, and um, yeah, just all of it. A lot of con- we've added some new uh, CDNs too. So those are yeah. those are great to add to the ecosystem. So yeah, all kinds of good things happening. Yeah. What about you, Matt? You're sort of you're you're newer to this yeah. 1623 conversation. How yeah, a fresh so, take on things? Yeah. My my views are there's a you know with everything going on in the industry from you know the the funding that the states are getting you know we sit in a great spot so i'm talking a lot about the fiber that's getting put into the ground how people are going to support that um what the things they need to do when you know when they start building out their fiber networks and um you know when we're a great spot for that yeah so So anything just a sort of final parting like maybe a Final teaser, is there anything that yeah. people should be watching for over the next year or 18 months? Yeah, uh, so we, we just launched our channel program. Um, and then also uh, Matt and I will be doing a series um, via JSA TV on uh, educating our, our customers and, and the region on uh, peering and the benefits of peering. Uh, we also have an annual event called Meet in the Middle um, in September. Um, so... You know, what that's an invite only event, but it's it's uh, it's grown over the years and it's it's our customers, potential customers and um, network partners in the ecosystem. So it's a great event uh, that'll be happening. And then I don't know if there's anything else. Yeah, I missed. you covered it. Uh, okay. no, it's yeah. A, yeah, that's what we got going on. It's I just encourage people to if they haven't seen the facility. And they want to take a take a look at it. We'll happy happily bring people through the facility and yeah. do a tour and. Yeah, that's Educate always a, it's a great invite. Yeah. To, it's always nice yeah. to see a great facility and, and see it for yourself. And uh, and yeah, I've heard about this event coming up in September. Yeah. It sounds like it's going to be a great one. Um, thank you, both of you, for joining us. Uh, for you. any of our viewers who may want to connect with you, how can they do that? Sure. Um, via our website, our socials, um, we have our contact information there. And yeah, as Matt said, feel free to reach out at any point for a tour or just to chat. And we're happy to share our knowledge on uh, mid- the Midwest ecosystem and how that can help. Fantastic. Yeah. So thank you, Greg and Matt. Thank you. Thanks. Thank you. Welcome to the team. Thank you. Yeah. Thanks. It's nice to have you both here yeah. this morning. Now you can get on with the rest of your day. All right. Um, and, and thank you, viewers, for tuning in here this morning at, to JSA TV, coming to you live from the floor of ITW in National Harbor. Until next time.